<laughs> Go on, you can do it. Dan is playing football online as part of an esports championship against another student in the east of England. The difference is Dan is using adaptive technology to control his player. It uses the switches that he uses in everyday life. So he drives his chair with four switches on his tray and the Xbox adaptive controller enables us to plug those switches into it and replicate movement on the screen. He's also then got an additional button to pass the ball with his head and another button to shoot with. It means a lot to me to be able to take part in the FIFA online tournament. I am getting better at playing FIFA and being able to play real opponents is very hard as I play the game in a different way to them. And that's obviously an issue because Dan's opponent didn't know he had a disability, there's no reason why he should, but Dan did lose the game, which is why he'd like to see a level playing field in future competitions. I would like to be able to play against people who use the same technology as me so that it is fairer. But now the esports games being played by the students here at National Star could end up being a game changer for them. It's very fun. They make me happy. I'm winning goals. The organisation behind the tournament wants to use their experiences to call on some of the biggest names in tech to create esports tournaments for gamers with disabilities. We're hoping that we can take what they're doing as a pilot. We're intending to speak to Microsoft next week uh, about the opportunities to get a group of colleges like National Star involved in a pilot competition like this because the impact that they've seen is huge and that we've seen in, in alternative provision schools is massive on the young people. And all of this is thanks to technology, enabling students like Dan to play competitively on the virtual pitch rather than just having to watch from the touchline. And maybe one day bringing home an eSports Cup. Yeah! Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Ellenwood.